Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WCW slash NWO sold out and that we are tonight man, are you ready for a night of NWO versus WCW action? Will we get entrances in the first match? Let's find out. And okay, we have entrances. There we go. <laughs> Maybe that was a one-time thing. Eh? We'll find out. Jojo, you must be about two years old. And well, here we go. Can we start the show off any other way? As ladies and gentlemen, here comes Jeff Jarrett. Double J showed up a couple of weeks ago, man. And the attack that happened. And Jeff Jarrett... Man, oh man. Kevin Nash promised. He said the NWO would take over once again tonight at Sold Out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sold out. But man, oh man, tonight it is. It is, it is battling all the way. You've no idea what's coming with so many mere we Whoa. I think we're supposed to be seeing certain someone right now who we are not seeing, which is annoying me. But ladies and gentlemen, man, the amount of surprise. The NWO has been built up back to a force again. And well, Jeff Jarrett's out here for a reason, people. Ric Flair has backed out of his match with Booker T to get his hands on Mr. Perfect tonight. And Booker T was left without an opponent. And well, that means Jeff Jarrett has been... Don't know how he was handy that he has been given this match for absolutely no reason, and I don't understand why. But Jeff Jarrett is getting a shot at the United States Championship. Booker T was getting ready for a big match with Ric Flair, but after Mr. Nope, Kurt Henning. <laughs> he got it gone perfect. Technically, that's a WWF name. And uh, Booker T was getting ready for that, but after Kurt Henning turned his back, he's joined the NWO as well. Flair begged, begged, take me out of the match with Booker T and give me Kurt Henning tonight. And he's got him tonight. And Booker T is going to defend that United States Championship against Jeff Jarrett here tonight. He is representing WCW. And well, here we go. First match of the night. And we cannot forget tonight's main event, people, man. And look at Jarrett who goes right on him, man. He didn't waste any time. And wait a minute, look who's at ringside. That is Rick Rude, people. Rick Rude has came down to ringside. Oh, my God. So Rick Rude, man, he's back as well. A former bodyguard for the NWO and it looks like he is back to bodyguard once again. Oh god, so that's another, another person. Rick Rude, you can see the NWO t-shirt underneath his jacket there. And old Jarrett man, catching him there. Jeff Jarrett and Booker T here. Oh, last thing we need, the very first thing tonight, last thing we need is the United States Championship to go. Oh wait, we had an update, is it fixed? He's on that middle rope and Booker T jumped! My God, it's the first time, the first time in this game I've seen someone taunt on the ropes and then jump! <laughs> that was a constant problem, they would taunt and then climb back down, that is the first time it's happened. One thing has been fixed at least. And we did have music in the entrances, so that's a bonus. Well, Booker T is in control right now. This is WCWNWO sold out. Jeff Jarrett in a bad position right now in the middle of the ring. And oh, Jarrett there thought he was going to go for the schoolboy. And he snaps Booker T right back down. And oh, and it's the first neck wrench of the night, man. Wasting no time. And oh, look, God, look at Rick Rude. We all know that's what he's here for. And Rick Rude, as Booker T though, takes him down. And, no, Booker, nah, nah, he's only teasing. He's only teasing. 
Jarrett. Too much taunting though, that's the problem. And a neck breaker. Rick Rude's up on the apron here as Jarrett. No, wait a minute. Jarrett's got that chair. He's got that chair. And oh, Booker T rolled out the way. And oh, he scraped the chair off his face there as he scoops him up and drops him on the ropes, man. Booker T was able to roll out the way of that chair shot. But look at Rude again. Rude. Booker T, the referee, trying to get that steel chair. As Jarrett now grabs him, takes him down, man. Well, this is why Rick Rude is here. We know that is the reason. And Jeff Jarrett taking full advantage here. The numbers are not in his favour, although Booker T did get a victory over Ric Flair a few weeks ago. And oh, a stun gun there right on those ropes. We didn't expect him to get that victory against Ric Flair, but he did. Even when the odds were against him. And, oh, any of the steel steps, man. Just put him back in the ring. And a second time, man. Bounced them off those steel steps. But, oh, Booker T just slammed his face. Jarrett, though, pushes him back into the ring. Jarrett having problems. Oh, wait for that big right hand. Didn't connect. As he scoops behind, though. And, oh, backbreaker. And a neck breaker, man. He's been getting some amount of neck moves in. So he's turning that head round there. And, oh, God, man. He's going right after the neck. And now Jarrett now up onto that middle rope. Oh, now he's doing it. See, now they're just, now they're just teasing me. And Jarrett with an axe handle off that middle rope. Well, how sweet is it to see them jump off the ropes? Went for a drop kick. Didn't connect. Booker T with a big chop. And Booker T out of nowhere the kick. And oh, the scissor kick connected. It connected. But oh, I think he was at the ropes. He was too close to the ropes. That is exactly how Ric Flair got beat a few weeks ago. The exact same way. Out of nowhere, man. He caught him with a low kick and gone with a scissors kick. And Booker T now. And Booker T going up high. And mate, you may be thinking of Houston hangover, but no, he went for an elbow drop. I thought it might have been a Houston hangover, but it wasn't. And he scoops Booker up. Booker, though, over the back this time in a reverse DDT of his own. And look at Jarrett, man. He's rolling to the outside. And whoa, there's the spinner, Rooney! <laughs> this gave Jarrett time to get back up, though, man. Booker needs to stop with the taunting. Jarrett with the front face lock here. Scoops him up, under, and oh, the knee to the gut. And he pulls him out, he's going for a cover here. I think he's going to need to do a bit more than that. Yep, kick out at one. Well, the last thing we need tonight is the NWO to walk out with more championships, man. We all know it's the gold they love. And there's Jarrett again, man, using at the edge of the ring, just getting out of the ring. And Booker T again, man, he should be going after him, but he's not. He's waiting for Jarrett to come to him. Is that a smart move or not? Who knows? But he managed to sucker Booker T over, sends him to the outside, and again pulls him down on those ropes. And look at Jarrett, he's not going to wait. He'll go out and get him himself. And Booker T getting up to his feet here. Now, what's Jarrett doing? He's been an idiot, but it looks it. Like And, oh, God, he just waited for him to turn around, planted that drop kick. And he sends him back into the ring. And Jarrett now, oh, he's going low here, grabbing the leg, might be warming up for that figure four. Jeff Jarrett definitely models his career over Ric Flair. And again with a neck wrench, man, twice in the fucking opening match, man. Oh, I dropped an F-bomb. <laughs> and Booker T, though, again, out of it. And shoulder tackle takes him down. He falls into the cover here. Jarrett, though, pushes him off. Look at Rick Ridge just standing out there. Drop kick to Jarrett. And Jarrett, man, this match is really even right now. And God, again on that neck, man. What is he obsessed with going after the head for? And Jarrett, 
Jarrett off the neck breaker. He's got his feet in the ropes. And oh, Booker T able to just get out of that one. And oh, he scoops under again. And onto the back. And again, man, what is the obsession with the neck? He is absolutely obsessed with just going after the neck. Booker low, shot to the arm. Booker goes behind. And oh, side suplex there. And Booker T got up the top rope again. He went for an elbow last time. Maybe this time he might be going for the Houston hangover this time. And it connected. The Houston hangover connected. Lovely move. That front flip leg drop, man. Absolutely lovely. Didn't go for a cover off of it, though. So he picks him right back up. And he sends Jarrett into the corner. And... No, oh, oh, he's putting him, he's putting him up, man. Tree of woo here. And, and, oh, good God. I don't even know what he done there. Did he headbutt him or knee him? And he scoops over. And, and, and no, no, he went for another neck breaker, but he shoved him off. And he scoops him up. And a sidewalk slam. This match was made at the last minute, but man, oh, man. And look at that, man. Into the cover. Rick Rude can do nothing but watch. And Jarrett again, man. He is still in it. And again, man. God, again with that running neck breaker. And again, <laughs> Booker T kicks out. And drops an axe handle on him. I think it done much. That's what he's doing with Booker here. Setting him up by the looks of it. He's trying to pick him up, but he's doing it the hard way. <laughs> and he's going for a suplex. Booker blocks it, though. Suplex of his own. And Booker T, oh, he's getting Jarrett up a lot quicker. Who's the tired one here? And a big spine buster. As he scoops into the cover again. And again, <laughs> this time Jarrett's out of it. Oh, what an opening match here. And oh wait, Booker, you might be thinking another scissor kick to finish this one off. And off the ropes. And oh, it connected. But he's under the ropes. Oh, Booker, you need to get him away from the ropes. This would be a great victory for WCW at the start here. And oh, Jarrett, man, with a drop kick out of nowhere there. And he pounces on him, smashing his head off the canvas. And, oh, he got caught there. Jarrett, though, shoves him off. And, oh, he just booted him right back down. And a stomp right to the knee. Oh, man. Oops. And, oh, Booker, though, catches a leg, man. Who is going to win this? And Booker T now. I keep watching Rick Rudd though, man. And he's got Jarrett round here now, man. Taking some shots to the lower back. And oh, Booker. Again. Again. And no, oh, he caught the leg this time. Shot to the knee. And another drop kick by Jarrett. But Booker. And good God, man. This is all over the place. And now Booker into the cover. Should have put his feet in the rope. See how Jarrett likes it. And Dory oh, he went away a clothesline. What? I hate it when these matches are this good and they end with utter shit. Oh, man. I hate it when matches end like that. The match was so good and it ends with a clothesline. It's like that rock mankind match. Hey, Houston hangover there. More like a Sabu leg drop. And Booker T somehow, some way... Was he able to pull that? This neck right was done so many times. Big spine buster there. And Booker T somehow, someway, yet again, triumphs. Rick Rudd not too happy. I can't imagine the rest of the NWO will be too happy. Jeff Jarrett had a chance tonight to take that belt and he failed. It is one to WCW, none to the NWO.
All right, two entrances in a row. Maybe it was just a one-time thing in that ECW show, eh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get a little bit hardcore. As the WCW Hardcore Championship will be on the line coming up next. And there's DDP making his way to the ring as... Well, there's, there's the anvil, man. There's the anvil behind him. And it looks like anvil's not going to be wasting any time here. And good God! And Jim Neidhart just planted that championship right off Paige's head. And go off the back of the head. And look at him, man. He's on his knees. And God, down he goes again. Man, oh man, this is... A hell of a cheap shot from Neidhart. Not what I expected from him. And those shots, man. He goes into a cover. And well, he kicks out, man. But and, Oh, God. God. He's getting that belt again. Good God, man. What is with a Jim Neidhart here? He is Beating Diamond Dallas Page. Man, oh man. I don't really know what to say here. This is a... Uh... God, the axe handle there, man. This is uh, I've I really I have no idea what to say. This is an absolute beatdown from Nightheart. Not something I'm used to seeing. He's a tough guy, but... And he goes behind him here, slams him down. He's just beating him about. And he's got that title belt again in his hands. It's no DQ, man. The match has begun. As Page is getting up to his feet here, and down he goes again. Man, oh man. This is not what we've seen. I know Brett's been a little bit cocky, but look at Page. And Paige was able to hit out there. But Paige is in a different frame of mind right now as he's... It looks like, it looked like he was looking for his title belt there, but he can't seem to see it. I mean, it's at the other side of the ring, but it looks like Neidhart. Obviously thinking something else here as his steel chair in hand. Oh, where are you going? And Paige is going after him here. And Neidhart back into the ring. But oh, bumped into each other, he dropped a the chair there. Page with the Irish whip as he tries to get back into it. And Page scoops him up and Page takes him down. And oh, just like that. And Neidhart, man, back in control again. And oh, he's getting up to his feet here. He's in that corner and throw the chair off the back. And oh, we managed to get back up there. And Jesus! And oh my God, he's got a submission hold in here. Good God, man. Can he get out of it here? Page is not quitting. And he throws him down. Oh, Neidhart, man, he let that go, but it looks like he got fed up holding it. I don't know what to think here, man. This is just a an absolute beat down here as he's got Page up. And Page, God, man, down he goes. That could do it. Don't have a clue what happened there. Well, Page kicked out and he got to the ropes and one or the other. And he's got that chair now in off the midsection. And again. What is with Neidhart? Jesus. 
What is with Jim Neidhart, man? I know he's been a bit hardcore the last few weeks with winning that championship, but god damn. Look at Paige. He doesn't know where he is right now. He's back up to his feet. And Paige, he blocked that chair there. As Paige, though, skips him up. And oh, he bombed him. And oh, and Nightheart throws him down again. And he rolls to the outside. Probably the best thing he could do here. And oh, he's got that chair though. He's going out after him. He's back up on his feet here. And Jesus. Chair shot right to the head. And now on the outside. And he's got this locked in again. Well, he can't win the match on the outside. Man, this is being very one-sided here. Page is giving it everything he's got, but everything he's got just doesn't matter, unfortunately. He's been absolutely whipped in this match. And Anvil's got him up again. And oh, there's that. Big slam right in the middle of the ring. And again, apparently that's a kick out. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with that. But Paige kicked out again. It would be more enthusiastic if it looked like a kick out. Oh, what is going on? Paige is bouncing in the ring. Nightheart can't get in the ring. Well done, 2K. More glitches. He's got a title belt in hand again. And oh, Paige ducked it. And Paige. And oh, the knee to the gut. And oh, big discus. Look at him looking down at Paige. And oh, what's he warming up for? And oh no, he's got that title belt again, man. He's got that belt again. And oh, he ducked again. And Paige skips him up. And oh, he planted him. Can you imagine Paige pulled this off? Can you imagine? And oh, Nightheart almost caught off guard. And Paige going up high risk here. He's wanting him on his feet. And tackles him down. Back of his head almost hitting that championship belt. And what's he thinking here? He's going to get him back up to his feet. Where's he going with him now? And somehow, some way, Paige is actually in control of this match. As he goes into the cover here. Neidhart, though, pushes him off. I thought he might have had it. And he landed that move on him. And he's going for a neck wrench now. And no, no, wait. Neidhart. Hit now with this one. And Jesus, he just went through him. And he's got that belt again. He done plenty of damage with that belt at the start of this match. And God, right off the chest. And the back of the head. What is wrong with him? This man is insane. And well, Paige just scooped him up. Somehow, some way. DDP keeps fighting back. And now he's got the neck wrench in again. God, it's been a night of neck wrenches here, eh? Where's he going now? My arse page is doing this. And oh! He went for it there. 
He went high risk again. He gets slapped down. And Neidhart again got him locked in the submission. Can Page take it? Can Page take it? Good God, man. Page has been in this for so long. And Neidhart collapsed and he will not quit. This is unreal, man. The heart in Diamond Dallas Page here. It's not exactly a belt. He's going out his way to win. And Jesus! I know, he's busted open. He is busted open now. Good God, that crimson mask as it's known. He drags him over to the middle of the ring. Finally busted open. He's getting up to his feet here. Look at him, just watching him here. As he scoops him up. And slams him down for the third time. That big power slam. You have got to be kidding! No way! Is he still kicking out? And Neidhart looks a bit PO'd now. And though we missed that one. And Paige up on his feet. And Paige. Oh my god, Paige again with the bomb! How is this happening? In what world? In Diamond Car! The Diamond Car! You have got to be kidding! There is no way! No way! And this time it's Night Harbor gets the shoulder up. Jesus Christ. Is it where he used the belt himself there? And oh, kicked him. And a drop kick of all things. And Night Heart, man. Night Heart's got the steel steps in his hand now. And good God, man. What a shot that was. With those steel steps. He goes into the cover. He could be out. Jesus. Good God. And Paige sends him in the corner. And good God. He just smashed him down there. And where's Neidhart? Oh God. I think Neidhart's a bit pissed now, man. He is well pissed. The hell is even happening here? And God, man, down he goes again. Back up to the feet. Look at this, man. Page again, man. The guy is a machine. And he takes Neidhart down. Oh, my God. What is going on in this match? Page has gone under the ring now. And good God, he's got a hammer. And oh, nobody home. And go on the knee there. And oh god, now he's got that hammer. And oh, he got out of the way of it. And oh, poked a handle right into him. And Paige again with a bomb on the outside. Needs to get him in the ring though. And oh, other way around though. And sends him to the outside. Oh man, he must be thinking, what in the hell have I got to do? I mean, what does he need to do? And Paige. My God, this is insane. Oh, man. 
Why can't you get the ring bell anymore? That's really annoying. And Nightheart just watching as if what the hell do I need to do to put Diamond Dallas Page away? Page bleeding all over the place. Nightheart outside the ring at the announcer's table wondering as Page coming out. And God, he just suckered him in. He was waiting for them to come to him. And Paige getting up again. And Paige again fighting back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Paige. How is this happening? How is he kicked out? Oh my God, man. As I said, in what world does this happen? Oh my God, I don't think Nightheart knows what to do. The weapons around this ring, I know it's no DQ, but God damn, you have got to be kidding. As he's outside the ring, he's daring him to come at him. Come at me, bro. And Paige jumps out, and down he goes again. Suckled in again. And again, he's got the submission in. And... Oh, he's tapping. He actually is tapping. But he can't win it. I didn't make it false count anywhere. And oh, man. Oh, he can't do it. Oh, well, goddamn. <laughs> and he sends him back into the ring. He's just... Tapped there, he's got him on the shoulders and the fourth time he's landed that power slam. It's got to be over. What is going on? He's not even kicking out. He's just letting him up. And he's got title belt in hand and go oh, off the face again. Look at the blood going down his chest as he hooks the leg again. And it's over, thank the Lord. <laughs> Dear God, did Diamond Dallas Page put up a fight in that match or what? Good God, man. That was insane. Couldn't get him to tap, but he finally got him on the outside of the ring. And these power slams, man, he hit him with chairs, title belts, a hammer. I thought Paige nearly got him here. Maybe he dropped him in that belt. And Jim Neidhart retains the Hardcore Championship. He must be in shock how the hell this was so, so hard for him. But somehow, someway, as Neidhart is still the champion... And where's Nightheart going? Where's he going here? And oh my god, he's got him back in the ring. I think Nightheart is really pissed off at what happened here. He's back up on his feet. And again with a title belt, man. This is not the Nightheart we are used to seeing here. What is going on, man? We know Brett. Has been a bit, and he's got it in again. Got it in again. And he's got Paige up. I oh, know this would be the fifth time, technically. And God, oh, I think Jim Neidhart wanted to make a point there, and well, he sure as hell done that. Definitely pissed off at everything that happened here. Jim Neidhart, man. Diamond Dallas Page put up some amount of fight in this one, but it just wasn't enough. But you can thank the sneak attack at the start for that. This could have been a totally different match if it had started fairly. That match was fucking insane.
Alright, how the fucking pen? Where did it go? <laughs> Just read your comment. She's got a surprise for you. I've heard that before. <laughs> a surprise could mean something very good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're only two matches in. This has been... What the hell, man? Booker T and Jarrett, that was some match as their shit ending. And that hardcore match just didn't want to end. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. The men this all began around. A few weeks ago, Sting and Luger failed to capture those tag team championships. Tonight, they get another chance. They're taking on the Outsiders. And well, that man, they call him Sting. He fought the NWO before and he won. They thought the NWO was gone. Nash promised they were coming back. How has this happened? What is the reasoning? There's no way it is only Nash and Hall that brought this back together. You've got Nash, you've got Hall, you've got Jeff Jarrett, you've got Scott Steiner. You've got the Disciple, you've got Rick Rude. What has happened? Sting is back to fight in a war. He thought he had already won. And here comes his tag team partner. He is the total package. Apparently. Lex Luger. I was never a huge fan myself, got to be fair. But Lex Luger. Going to team with Sting here tonight. One more chance to take these tag team championships. Well, let's get those outsiders out here. This is technically their pay-per-view. There's the original members. And look who's with them. Scott Steiner, the newest recruit. We saw him this past week on Nitro. Scott Steiner joining the NWO as well. As he walked through Scott Hall there. And, and look, man, Scott Steiner wanted to be sent to the attention, eh? <laughs> Man, oh man. Well, Jeff Jarrett failed to grab that US title. If Sting and Luger could win these belts here, man, this, it would not be NWO's night tonight, I promise you that. Well, here we go, man. 
Tag Team Championships on the line. Sting going to start this match with Big Sexy. It was Big Sexy Kevin Nash who told Sting it sold out, the NWO will be back and they will be in full force. As Sting takes control early on here. Go! Oh, what a jump up there. <laughs> pulled him, pulled Nash right to the ground. And Sting. God, man. Giving the big man a suplex, man. Sting is determined to get this one here. And Sting up in that middle rope. Waiting for Nash. He's been all over Nash at the start of this one. Oh, didn't connect though. And Nash, man, goes low. Uses his strength to his advantage. <clears throat> and quickly sends Sting to the corner. I think Nash caught a bit off guard at the start of this one as he tags in the bad guy, Scott Hall. And, oh, double team there. Scott Steiner on the outside cheering on. As Sting. Some off, but oh, over the top there. And Scott Hall. I says it was a few weeks ago on Nitro, the first episode of the new year. And Scott Hall drops the knee. And Luger screaming for the tag. And a drop toe hold by Sting. And Sting now going over to make the tag. And Lex Luger is in. And, oh God, elbow right at the top of the head there. And he plants him with a DDT. And Nash was reaching out there. Couldn't quite reach it. Well, as I say, it's Luger and Sting. This is the last chance. And, oh, Hall takes him down. You watch out for Steiner there on the outside. As Nash, oh, look at though, goes behind, takes him down. And Nash's turn. Oh, a little bit of athleticism there. And oh my god, you don't see that, don't you, Luger? Kevin Nash. And now Nash, good man, he is throwing Lex Luger about. And now Scott Hall, man, he's back in. Luger is not doing good right now, man. Big Nash threw him about like he was a cruiserweight. And, oh, the neck wrench is in, man. Every match we are getting neck wrenches. And Luger. And Luger able to get a little reversal there over the ropes. It could be enough time for him to get a tag in here. And Luger. Tags in Sting. And man, Luger got thrown about there, but Sting back in. Holdo grabbed him straight away, got him right into the corner. And now he gets Nash back in. And good God, where is Kevin Nash going? Kevin Nash off the top rope with a cross body, man. Good God. He just booted him in the face. Nash and Hall, man, they are working well together here. And Sting drops the DDT. And Sting, man, 
He would love to take these belts off the NWO. And Nash with a the knee there. And oh, oh, big side slam. And Nash in control again. Nash and Hall have just been so dominant lately. Steiner hasn't even been involved in this match. And double team again. More quick tags. And Sting though. Sting probably the only man dressed in black and white that's fighting against the NWO. And oh, Sting! And Sting is fired up, man. He is fired up here. All those clotheslines. And Sting runs. Stinger splash! And just like that, Sting is in control. Look, Steiner's up in the ropes now. As he's got the referee's attention. And oh! And oh, look at Nash! The Scorpion death drop connected. And as Sting was getting up, Nash made sure he quickly run in and take out Sting before he could make the cover. And well, I said they were a good team and Steiner hadn't been involved in just like that. As look at Look at Scott Hall, man. He's crawling over to make a tag here. And oh, Sting, those biting his feet and Sting. And, oh, Nash was ready for him there. And Scott Hall is back up. And Scott Hall fires Sting into the corner. And now we're going to get more double team here. As Scott Hall takes Sting down. And well, there's another elbow just like he'd done. I know he's trying to get the tag. But Nash making sure he is not getting to that corner. And go, oh, he just about took his head off there. That big boot. And there's that boot again, man. My God, this is... Sting out of nowhere with that comeback. The Stinger splash, the Scorpion death drop, Scott Steiner distracting the referee and Kevin Nash just taking out Sting with that big elbow. And Sting with a punch there as he tries to get back into it, but Nash, man, he's got no the knee. Nash a bit off guard here and he pounces on him with a DDT. And he drops the elbow. Man, oh man. And Sting, what's he doing now? And Sting scoops him up and oh, he just jackknifed him. <laughs> he just gave Nash his own move. Look at Nash. Nash is in shock. How the hell did Sting power bomb Kevin Nash? And Nash puts out his knee. And whoa, Sting scoops him up. Where does this strength came from? Oh, he can't hold him. Nash is getting out of it. And now Nash. And oh, he's going to show him how you do a power bomb. Jack nice style. Hooks the leg. But there's Luger. And God, oh, what a punch by Nash and Nash. Oh, God, look at his down. And now, Nash. Sting, man, he needs to make a tag. They had this match won. But NWO, in classic NWO fashion, do whatever they can. Man, Sting needs a dude. God, what a shot! Well, that face paint is changing colour. I know he went for the boot again, but he missed it. But oh, he just grabs a hold of Sting. Sting though, over the back, and down he goes. Look at man trying to get up on the outside. Sting man, he is still fighting back with everything he's got. And Sting got him round. And Sting with a 
Tim Stone pile driver. Man, Sting has been hitting out with everything in this one. And again with that big DDT. Steiner is up on the ropes again. Come on, referee. You need to get him out of here. And look at Sting right in the face. Of Steiner screaming right in his face. But oh, it was enough time. Again, enough time for Nash to get himself back into it. But Sting, though, still fighting back. And Sting with a neck breaker. Oh, man. This is anybody's match. I think Nash, man, he could maybe use a tag as well. He's crawling over. And no, he's not getting there today. And Sting finally lugers up on the apron. And there's the tag. Sting needed that badly. Sting's been taking a bit of a whipping in this one. And boom, big lariat by Luger. Nash though again. And Luger again, man. And oh, what a suplex. How the, how the odds have changed. And oh, Luger. Could he be thinking rack? Is he going to rack Nash? And he is. He's got him up. He's racking him. He is racking Big Sexy. And oh, Nash needs to get out of this. He needs to get out of it. This is not good for Nash. And he tapped. He tapped. This is not a night for the NWO. This is not a night for them. It is not going their way. How did he do that? He power bombed them, he tombstoned them. That big Lariat and Lex Luger, the fresh man, get in. He racked Big Sexy. And Kevin Nash tapped. And the Outsiders have lost their tag team championships. Sting and Luger are tag team champions. Nash said it was going to be the NWO's night that they would be laughing last at the end. But know what? They ain't laughing now. Jarrett has failed. Nash and Hall have failed. It doesn't look like an NWO takeover in my eyes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match... There may be a title on the line, but this match is nothing but pure personal. This might be for the television title, but this man backed out of his match with Booker T so that he could get his hands on the former horseman, Kurt Henning, here tonight. Larry Zabisco going to be coming out here with the Nature Boy, and I'm not surprised. Larry Zabisco attacked by Kurt Henning this past week on Nitro backstage. Ric Flair wanting revenge here tonight. And well, Ric Flair. Cut Henning. And Cut Henning's been rather impressive in recent weeks. Victories over the United States champion Booker T and the match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WCW Slash. NWO sold out and that we are tonight man are you ready for a night of NWO versus WCW action will we get entrances in the first match let's find out and okay we have entrances there we go maybe that was a one time thing eh? we'll find out Jojo you must be about two years old 
And well, here we go. Can we start the show off any other way? As ladies and gentlemen, here comes Jeff Jarrett. Double J showed up a couple of weeks ago, man. And the attack that happened. And Jeff Jarrett. Man, oh man. Kevin Nash promised. He said the NWO would take over once again tonight at Sold Out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sold out. But man, oh man, tonight it is, it is, it is battling all the way. You've no idea what's coming with so many mere we whoa. I think we're supposed to be seeing certain someone right now who we are not seeing, which is annoying me. But ladies and gentlemen, man, the amount of surprise. The NWO has been built up back to a force again. And well, Jeff Jarrett's out here for a reason, people. Ric Flair has backed out of his match with Booker T to get his hands on Mr. Perfect tonight. And Booker T was left without an opponent. And well, that means Jeff Jarrett has been... Don't know how he was handy that he has been given this match for absolutely no reason, and I don't understand why. But Jeff Jarrett is getting a shot at the United States Championship. Booker T was getting ready for a big match with Ric Flair, but after Mr. Nope, Kurt Henning. <laughs> He's got it gone perfect. Technically, that's a WWF name. And uh, Booker T was getting ready for that, but after Kurt Henning turned his back, he's joined the NWO as well. Flair begged, begged, take me out of the match with Booker T and give me Kurt Henning tonight. And he's got him tonight. And Booker T is going to defend. And, oh, God. And now he's just choking him. God, Rick Flair's pissed. And now look at Rude. And Rude's got Flair distracted. And Perfect going to take advantage. And, and oh, Flair again, though. And look at, look at Henning, man. I keep calling him Perfect. I know I do. But he's rolling out of the ring. Flair, he doesn't care. Get your ass back here. Knocks him right off the apron. And we're back outside again. Rude was trying to help him up. And Flair is loving it. And, and wait a minute, look at Rude. And Rude's in the face of him. Maybe he should have done more of that for Jarrett. <laughs> and, and oh God, I don't even know what happened there. And Flair again though. This is a bad, bad night. And again, Rude is in the face of Flair. As he's trying to help Perfect here, but Perfect's getting wooed. No, no, wait. This time he got a hold of him. And he drops him on the outside. And he sends him back into the ring. Well, Rudd definitely helped out a little bit there. And the Irish whip comes back. Goes for a drop kick, but again, Flair right out of the way and right back onto him. And look at this, right into the half crab. And oh no, Flair though. Does Flair know Kurt Henning just a bit too well? I think he does. Look, Rude again up on the apron. Rude is constantly helping him here. And oh, with a knee. And now, Flair gonna drop the knee. And Flair is in control right now. The revenge could be sweet here. As all scoops him up, drops him down. And look at him. His eyes glued to Flair. 
If it wasn't for Rick Rude, I think this match would be over by now. Kurt Herring's been getting his ass whooped. He comes off that middle rope. And now, throws him down. And, oh! And look at Rude. And now Luke Zabisco's going to get involved. See how he likes it. The horsemen are never shy of the dirty tactics as well. Anything you can do, they can do better. Oh, he turned it on him. And wait a minute. And oh, wait, Henning. He's waiting for him to get to his feet here. As he's got Flair. He's got him. And the perfect plex connects. And look at Zabisco though. He's got it one. He's actually got it one. And Zabisco just screwed Kurt Henning out of this match. And the chair is gone as well. The referee spotted it. Man, oh man. And look at Flair, as I says, if anybody can take it to the NWO, the, 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 the NWO, it is them. And oh, up, but no, out of it, no, oh, DDT. And oh, wait a minute, Flair's the one doing the stalking now, he is stalking him. And Henning is down, and we know what comes next, he's hyper, he's out of control. It's the figure four leg lock. Oh, where are you going to go, Henning? This would be such a bad night for the NWO. It would be such a bad night. And oh, he let it, he let it go. I don't know why Flair let it go. I think he had him there. Unless he just couldn't feel it. Unless he was losing it. He's right back onto him anyway. And... Oh! <laughs> He's got him by his perfect jewels. Oh my god. Right by the nuts. And into the cover he goes. And oh no, Henning kicks out. Now back up to his feet here. And at the corner he goes. And oh god that knee to the gut there. And Flair now. Up with that middle turnbuckle. Off with the elbow. Now Rick Rude has been heavily involved in this but so has Zabisco. And again with another elbow but it doesn't connect this time. Well, he missed with that elbow. Henning gets him back up and oh, throws him down. And now Flair with a snap suplex right into the cover. His feet are under the ropes. And oh, <laughs> vintage Flair. Actually, just about every dirty move in the book is vintage Ric Flair. He is the dirtiest player in the game after all. And he is stalking him again. And he takes him down again. He's going to put this in again. He might be too close to the ropes though. The ropes are right there. And he did. He, he reached out there. His hand went under. He reached out. He got the ropes. As drops the elbow. He drags him away for the ropes here. Goes into a cover. He's into the pin here. Really? I hate this game sometimes. He won with an elbow drop. <laughs> and it is not NWO's night. That is for damn sure. These have been some matches, man. They've all ended so weird. And ladies and gentlemen, the teacher destroys the master. Even though Kurt Henning had the match won. 
Ric Flair has just taken the television championship from Kurt Hennig. And as I said, the teacher took down the student. He is still the master. And the dirtiest player in the game beat the NWO's dirty tactics. This is not NWO's night. It is not going their way. They have been getting their asses handed to them all night long. Well, it's time for a little rematch action. Ignore that logo. <laughs> a little rematch action from this past week on Nitro Man Canyon. Going to go one-on-one -on -one with Buff Bagwell. Buff Daddy. The weird thing about Buff Bagwell is... Why did we see him with it? Oh, well, never mind. Question answered. That hat's got an NWO logo on it, and the disciple is with him. And it would appear Buff Bagwell is also with the NWO. We saw the disciple get involved in his match this past week on Nitro. And it would appear Buff Daddy, as he likes to call himself. Well, Canyon. Gonna get a little bit of payback in this one. And, oh, sucker them into that one. And Chris Canyon. Former United States Champion and Tag Team Champion. Taking on the buff. He says he's got the stuff. Buff Bagwell, man, he's taking it to him here. He says you can hand the assist to the Disciple this past week on Nitro. But it would appear Buff Bagwell in control here. He seems quite happy with himself. Part of the NWO now by the looks of it. He was a former member in the previous days. So it's hardly a surprise they would go and recruit. Love the good old guys. And Canyon now. Getting some hits in of his own here. And oh lovely knee there. It has not been a good night for the NWO. Nash promised he would be laughing last. It would appear not. A lovely drop kick there. Credit where it's due. And another drop kick. And well, Bagwell is... In control right now, man. You cannot take anything away from him there. He is all over Canyon right now. Oh, spoke too soon. And Canyon, man, using the knee again. And a Russian leg sweep. And well, Canyon. And Canyon maybe should have concentrated... Oh, we missed that one there. Oh, we ran away, but he goes back for him. And no, oh, Canyon again catches him. And oh. God, oh, what at the knee again, man. Canyon knows what he's doing. And we seem to have that glitch yet again. The computer has no reversals. So apparently, I have no reversals. That seems to be a thing now. Canyon on that middle rope. And takes him down. See, he's got a reversal now, so now I can reverse again. Doesn't make sense. And Buff Daddy with the kick out. 
And whoa, slipped out the way of that one. Big shot there. May floats over. Plants him with a DDT. And Buff Bagwell going up to that middle rope. And oh, he's taunting. He's getting up to his feet here. And though he didn't quite connect. I wouldn't say he connected with that fully there, but is it going to be enough? Is it enough? And no, it is not. He did not connect with that move. He went for that hot shot and it didn't connect. And Bagwell, man. Bag oh, God, man. He's away with it here, isn't he? And Bagwell off the ropes comes back and again with a drop kick. Well, out of all the matches, Bagwell's looking probably quite better than all the other NW guys. Looks like Canyon's actually busted open here. Into the corner. And oh, he suckered them in there. And look at Buff, man. Smack it a bit. And oh, look at this. Look at the cockiness. He rolls to the outside, runs back in, and good man, he just slid right into him there. And again with a posing, he is obsessed with posing. And he's got a hold of him again, and the DDT is planted. He's up onto that middle rope again. And I think he's going to try and connect with it properly this time. Off that middle rope. And it connects. Perfectly this time. Last time not quite as much. Kind of buggered it up. That should do it. And it does. Buff Bagwell gets the victory. Well, at least someone from the NWO got a victory tonight. This didn't have a chance. This is just a rematch from this past week on Nitro. Right there, he didn't land that move properly. But he did this time. And Buff Bagwell victorious here. And... Wait a minute, what's going on here? And Buff is a way out for Canyon. And look at him. And he's laying into him. And oh, come on with the posing, man. Give it a rest with the posing. And just picks him up and hits him down. And, oh, a oh, lovely move there. I'll we'll give him that. And, well, he's on the top rope this time. He is on the top rope. And, oh, got off the top rope this time with that hot shot. Good God, that was a big one he landed there. And, well, Buff Bagwell... Leaving Canyon laying in the middle of the ring tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look who's out here. Look who's back. Pardon the pun. Eric Bischoff, and look what he's wearing. That is an NWO t shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't seen Eric Bischoff in a long time in WCW. 
Why is Bischoff out here? Oh, shut up. If I cared about your opinions, I'd be as big a loser of all of you, actually. I wouldn't be quite as pathetic because the difference between me and you is I'm back. Eric Bischoff is back and you better all respect me as I am the new owner of WCW. Oh, <laughs> he's got a broken microphone. You all paid good money to come here tonight, and you can all thank me for bringing back the NWO. I am the boss now. I am in charge. I am funding this entire company. It all, 100%, belongs to me and the NWO. To those who discard or disbelieve my words, good, you will be the first to fall victim. We will pick you off one by one. Do not let tonight fool you. I know it's not been going to NWO's plans, but believe me, this show is not over yet. You have all bore witness to the dawn of a new WCW. My WCW, there is no stopping what is about to happen to every person who does not believe in the NWO, to all the people who do not believe in Eric Bischoff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Bischoff has just announced it is him who is the new owner. We knew WCW was up for sale and Eric Bischoff is the man who has taken the company. Eric Bischoff is back in WCW and he is in charge and it is him that has brought the NWO. It is him that has got all these guys back together again and he said it might not be going their way tonight but he said it is going to go his way. What the hell does that mean? Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. And the rematch from a few weeks ago on Nitro. This man lost the championship to Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart, of course, he low blowed him. Gobert didn't even realise that he'd been low blowed. He didn't realise how many times Bret Hart had his feet in the ropes. He took every cheap shot he could. Goldberg actually shook his hand at the end of the match. He didn't actually realise what had happened. And then he did. And the next week he told Bret he was getting his rematch. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't get over this. Eric Bischoff is the new owner of WCW. Well, Goldberg, he wants his championship back. That is what he is here for tonight, to take down Bret the Hitman Hart. We saw what Jim Neidhart done earlier tonight, man. He was rapid all over DDP. DDP put up fight, but man, oh man. We were expecting Neidhart to be out here with him. Well, let's get a move on. And here comes the... And wait a minute. Oh my God, please don't tell me. The NWO is coming to the ring with Bret Hart. There's the hardcore champion, Jim Neidhart, and he has got an NWO t-shirt on. You have got to be kidding me. 
I see Scott Steiner there. Look at Goldberry's with it. And there's Kevin Nash. Oh, you have got to be kidding. There is no way Bret Hart. There is no way Bret Hart is with the NWO. Oh my God. He is as well. Bret the Hitman Hart has signed his soul over. He has got backup out here with him tonight. I do not believe it. You have got to be kidding me on. There is no way this is happening. That means if Brett wins, the NWO has the World Championship. This is what Bischoff meant when he said it's not over. This is exactly what he meant. The night wasn't over yet. Goldberg needs to win this match more than he has ever realised he needs to win. They cannot let the NWO get that championship again the way they treated it in the past. And Brett still got his jacket on for some reason. And Brett, not changing apparently. <laughs> I don't know why that's happened, my bad. Must not have edited it properly. And Goldberg. Oh, Brett, not even taking his jacket off yet. And Brett Hart. This looks weird, but we're stuck with it. <laughs> There's not really a way to edit it once the show started, so my apologies. And Brett the Hitman Hart. All over Goldberg right now. My God, he's trying to hit. Look at Goldberg just shake off every single hit. He's got him in the corner now. And Goldberg. And Goldberg. And oh my God, he's got Brett already. And throws him across the ring. And go look at Brett. He's hitting him. And it is having no effect. And Goldberg just scoops him up again and runs and slams him down. And Brett, man, he's still trying to fight back here. Look at the shots. Goldberg is just shrugging them all off. And he sends him to the outside. And Bret Hart now. On the outside of the ring. And Doe oh, sends Goldberg right off the apron. And now, oh, into the steel steps. And... Going into the guardrail now. And Bret Hart, man, he is hitting. And, oh, God, Goldberg just fell into those steps there. Did you hear that? And, oh, God, Bret sent into the steps now. Goldberg has no idea how important this match now is. And he pushes him off out of the steps again. And look at Bret. And... And Brett's got the referee covered. Let's look at the three of them. All surrounding him here. And look at Brett. Behind the referee's back. And they three know if they touch Goldberg, gets DQ, which I'm sure they would love. As he's back into the ring now. And oh, God, just taking full advantage. Full advantage there. And, oh, Goldberg! <laughs> he went right through him there. And Goldberg is on to him, man. The neck wrench is in. And Goldberg, determined here, man. This is for WCW. If the NWO keeps this championship. And, and oh, wait a minute. Goldberg might be looking to end this here. He's waiting for him. And, oh, DDT! And Brett. Oh, off that exposed turnbuckle. Throat first. Throat first. 
And now, Brett! Pale driver! Good God, man! And Goldberg trying to get up to his feet here. Is Brett now? There's no way he makes this man tap out. There's no way this man taps. There is no way Goldberg taps out. That is not what he does. I couldn't get to the goddamn thing. My God, the pain he And look at Goldberg fighting with everything he's got. And he somehow pushed him off. And Goldberg, man, got him down in the corner. And oh! And kicks that knee out. And oh, he just slapped that away. And now, he's got a hold of him again. Mr. Pump Handle, that's what I'm calling him. I'm going to pump handle drop this time. And again with that neck wrench, man. Night of neck wrenches, what did I tell you? And Goldberg. Oh, he was going to the corner for the spear. But... And look at Brett from behind, off of the distraction. Off of the distraction. And oh, Goldberg. Just kicking out there. Good God, man. He just pounced on him with that. Took him down there. And Brett Hart is all over Goldberg right now. And good God, man. And Brett now. That middle rope. He is all over him. And good God into the corner. And oh, he got caught there. But don't the insecurity. As he fires him across the ring. And now Brett going to throw him in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no... And again, the exposed turnbuckle. And look at Brett. Taunting to the crowd. As he's up on his feet. And Brett. And Brett Hart with a low blow. The low blow connected. Can you believe it, man? And Brett into the cover, using the exposed turnbuckle. A low blow, he's got his feet in the ropes, and Goldberg still staying in it. And look at Brett, though, right back into him. And now the sharp shield's in again. He's got nothing he can do. And, God damn it. <laughs> And, oh, and Brett, Brett's knackered, they couldn't hold it anymore. And Brett, wondering what in the hell he's got to do. Goldberg, not a man who stays down. And Jim Neidhart and Brett, now what's Neidhart telling him? Neidhart telling him something and, and oh come on you've got to be kidding he's going to retain the, he's going to try and retain the title he wants to retain the title by DQ you've got to be kidding and look at the referee though take the chair off him and Goldberg Goldberg's got him and Goldberg up the jackhammer connected! 
And he hooks the leg! And oh, Brett got the shoulder up! It's not the same if you don't connect with the spear. And right into that neck wrench again. Goldberg, man. That exposed turnbuckle. He's been low blowed. Everything he could be hit with. And. Oh! He's got that chair. I think he's hoping for someone to distract here, but it doesn't seem to be happening. And he must be wondering, what the hell do I do to take Goldberg down? And Goldberg again. And Brett, man, low again. And he sends Goldberg, and again into the exposed turnbuckle. Man, oh man. And into the corner again. And Goldberg though still still stayed in this. Surprisingly the NWO not been involved in this as much as you would think as he's brushing his face off the ropes. And a hold of Goldberg now. As he might be looking for a suplex. No, no, no. Goldberg. And it's up. Over. And he drops him down. And Brett. And again. Again with the low blow. The referee's looking right at it. And he's still letting it go. And, oh, come on. Again now. Again. The ropes are right there. They're right there. But Goldberg, man, he's taken so much. He can't reach the ropes. That referee was letting Bret Hart do whatever he wanted. Safe to say the referee will say it's Nick Patrick. It usually was. The NWO referee. I don't believe this. Kevin Nash said no matter what he'd get. Look at that. Look at the referee. He is staring right at it. Man, I thought Goldberg might have had him, man. The referee did take the chair off. Look at this. He's done it again. He low blowed him. He used the exposed turnbuckle multiple times. And Brett the Hitman Hart is still... The, oh, well, we know what this means. He's not the WCW champion. He's the NWO champion. Kevin Nash said sold out would be the NWO's night. And it really hasn't been their night. As ladies and gentlemen. And surprise, surprise. The NWO is in the ring. And they are spray painting the championship belt. NWO. The NWO is back. They are in full force. Eric Bischoff at the helm. Kevin Nash. Scott Hall. Buff Bagwell. Scott Steiner. Jeff Jarrett. The Disciple. Rick Rude. Jim Neidhart. Brett the Hitman Hart. The NWO is back in full force and full swing. It might not have been a perfect night, but they got the one that mattered. Ladies and gentlemen, what will happen next after the events have sold out? We will find out together. Like, share, subscribe and leave me your comments down below. And I will see you in the next episode.